A delegation of top Edo traditional rulers led by the Oba of Benin, His Royal Majesty Oba Iware II, arriving the forecourt of the presidential villa. Loud chants in response to the president's greeting upon his arrival into the conference room where there's a gathering of chiefs. The Oba of Benin is confident that the president has recorded salient achievements since his assumption. To support, to show support for the administration, uh, Nigerians should, should support the president. He will walk. He's already walking. He's already he has hit the ground running. Everybody has seen it. To other traditional allies, they should support the president, of course. We will support the president. Other traditional allies will support the president. We must support the president to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> Barely minutes after the departure of the Oba of Benin, the vice chairman of the Oyo State Council of Obas and Chiefs, His Royal Highness Oba Francis Alao, accompanied by members of his team, arrived at the State House. <laughs> a courtesy visit to the president and uh, to wish him well a successful tenor. This government means business and the business is to serve the people, to bring dividends of democracy to the people. Okay. The president had last month met with royal fathers from the six geopolitical zones under the aegis of the National Council of Traditional Rulers in a forum where he appealed for greater collaboration. Separately, and for the second time since the president took office, he meets with former governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akilmi Ambodi. Before now, the only other known time the president met with Mr. Ambodi was at a reception held in honor of President Tinubu by the Lagos State governor, Babajidi Sonolu. These visits come 24 hours after the president declared a state of emergency on food security and got the approval by the Senate of an $800 million World Bank loan to finance the National Safety Net program. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.